Conjunctions are a powerful tool in the English language, facilitating more complex and meaningful sentences. In this presentation, we will explore the three types of conjunctions, their functions, and how they can be used to join ideas together in new and creative ways. Let us start our journey of discovery. Using conjunctions effectively can help form sentences that are more expressive and meaningful. We can join ideas, giving our message strength and evoking emotion. Conjunctions aid in conveying our thoughts and opinions in a clear and precise way, allowing us to be heard and understood. The power of conjunctions lies in their ability to join ideas and create more layers to a sentence. When we use conjunctions, we can link two thoughts together, adding nuance and complexity to our language. For example, by using the conjunction, though, we can express concession, in which one clause is accepted as true, even though the other clause is also true. This creates more depth than if we were to simply say, although, as it conveys a greater level of understanding. With conjunctions, we can take plain language and make it sophisticated and meaningful. The power of conjunctions is undeniable. They have the power to connect different words to create meaningful sentences, adding depth and nuance to our language. Coordinating conjunctions enable us to connect two thoughts, while subordinating conjunctions add a layer of complexity by allowing us to accept one clause as true, even in the face of another. By using conjunctions, we can transform plain language into more sophisticated, meaningful sentences. Conjunction use is very important when constructing sentences in English to ensure they make sense and are cohesive. Coordinating conjunctions, such as and, but, or, and, yet, are particularly useful in linking multiple elements of the sentence. They join two or more independent clauses to form a compound sentence, for example, I like pizza, but I don't like mushrooms, where, but, is the coordinating conjunction. It is important to be aware of how often coordinating conjunctions are used in order to not interrupt the sentence's flow. Subordinating conjunctions can give our sentences more meaning and nuance, but we should use them cautiously so that the sentences don't become too complicated or hard to understand. For instance, although it was raining, we went for a walk, has a dependent clause, it was raining, connected to an independent clause, we went for a walk, by the subordinating conjunction, although. Conjunctions can be a powerful tool to combine ideas and words into a concise and meaningful sentence. Take for instance, a correlative conjunction like, either, or, which can be used to emphasize the contrast or choice between two options. Nonetheless, it's important to use conjunctions correctly and judiciously in order to prevent your writing from becoming too complicated. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the power of conjunctions.